you said water. What are you? Greetings. Okay. How many of you? I'm oh, sure. Don't forget, <laughs> Brandon. Yes, yes. How many of you care if our indigenous languages die? How many of you care? If the languages were to die, would you care? Raise your hand if you care. <laughs> that, 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 that deliberately use the word, you have to measure what you mean by care. How many of you don't care if the language is dead? <laughs> that means you care, but you don't want to raise your hand. All right, good. So my, my, the question is this, right? Let me give you a little bit background now. The reason why languages die is because people kill them. People either kill the people that speak them, which is what Columbus and the, the Europeans that came actually did to the indigenous peoples. They literally slaughtered your ancestors, our ancestors. Because my uncle tells me we got why I know I don't believe him, but I accept it anyway. Um, so you can kill a language by killing the people that speak it. So that the small population that are left are run over by the big languages that come in by the speakers of the big, the ones with the guns. You know, we make a joke in linguistics that says, what is the difference between a dialect and a language? And a linguist once said, a dialect is a language with an army and a navy. Doesn't matter how many people speak it. When you have that military power, you can actually take over and force your language on other people. Which is what happened with which, which one? It happened with English. This famous queen called Queen Victor, Queen Elizabeth the First, not the one we have now, Queen Elizabeth I built the, the English Navy. And the English were from a little island somewhere far off. And they built the navy and they set out with this intention of conquering the world. Okay. And they did a good job at it until now, right? No, it seems like, like the tides are turning, but the tides are turning very slowly and our languages are still in danger. And we are helping to kill them. Actually. Because every time you tell a child, speak English, or speak properly, or whatever, and you expect them to utter English or to write it, you're killing the ancestral languages that that child came from. Right? Now, even the United... I, mean, I don't mean to put you on the guilt trip, because we're <laughs> all in the same boat. But yes, I kind of would like you to go home feeling guilty today. But not guilty enough to drink poison. So no, I don't no. Or however else you decide to commit suicide. But you're already committing suicide because once we allow our languages to die, there's another famous statement we do and we say among linguists. I'm not a linguist by the way, but I hang out with them. I'm more of a trained teacher, cultural person into the arts and culture. Come right in. We also say that when an, an old, when an elder dies, 